Hey guys, welcome to new video of Fangs Creations. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this awesome gem box from Clash of Clans. Well, this is a very easy creation guys. It does not take much time to create. As you can see, you can see all the small uh, gems. Now these gems were hard to make. I had to come up with an idea. And I'm going to show an easy technique of how you're going to make this without buying anything special. So let me just focus. And these are the materials you need. The first thing is Obviously polymer clay, I'm making everything with polymer clay instead of cardboard White glue and super glue for reinforcing paints and brushes for coloring And then uh, the carving tool you see is for making the small cuts and details And then the base is obviously cardboard And then uh, you know the hot glue stick you see is for the gems I found out a way of, of how you know you can cut out and you can make a perfect gem so you need to make such pieces and let's go to the workshop and let's make this. Okay, before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then click on the notification bell, select all so that you don't miss any of my new upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've made a lot of gems. I'm gonna show how to make some of this. Now, you need to make 12 gems. You need to cut out a small portion of the hot glue gun. Cut it in an angular portion, just like this the way I'm showing and then you need to cut in an angular motion so that you have a nice edge and then you need to cut straight in order to make it look like a gem hope you can see the shine now you have to just color it with a sketch pen just to make it look green now let's go ahead and start making the body of the you know the box part of the gem box now I'm gonna mix the polymer clay with some talcum powder to help it dry faster Let's flatten it out in the form of a rectangle, as you can see. You need to cut out small pillars type of things and you need to cut out small edges, you know, the side parts, as you can see. Take a scale and just draw, you know, two lines, one in the center and another one far away. Now the carving tool is for making that guys, for making deep cuts and the new pen knife that I have bought is for making the small details. Now using the pen knife you can make the small you know wood cracks as you can see You need to do that even on the top to make it look like there are three separate pieces of wood And then uh, just like this And you need to do the same thing on the back side as you can see Now the same thing for the pillars you just need to uh, draw cracks on it and nothing else should be done You have to repeat this and then you have such uh, four pieces each now stick the pillars first with white glue then you can go ahead and stick the side pieces just like this all right now we have to let this dry now i have already started the painting guys i forgot to record sorry so you have to mix brown uh, and yellow to make this thing and you, have, you can use this type of uh, you know light yellow type of thread to make the threading around the box. Now you can use different shades of green. First you have to keep the sap green color or the dark green and then you need to dry brush some lighter green colors to give a grass type of texture and then you need to fill it up with gems and mushrooms as shown in the picture. So that's it guys the mushrooms and everything can be seen. Uh, you know at the end of the video uh, or otherwise you can just check it out you can go to the Cla uh, clash anniversary cake which I have made the fifth anniversary cake and you can see how I made the mushrooms as you can see they're just smaller versions of them the gems I've already shown you need to make 12 gems and you need to uh, put four of them in the outside and everything in the inside so I'll see you in the next one guys well uh, before you go make sure you like this video and then Comment down below guys, we, uh, like comment like if how you, if you like the video then just write some compliments or if you have any suggestions please mention them so that I can improve and I can entertain you guys better. I'll see you in the next one guys, bye.